Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love. We have Mark behind the camera. Todd, what do we got? We have the Rocket R60V. And what are we going to do today? We're going to take a look inside. Yeah, show the inside. We'll get into that. But explain first, how that works. Yep, go over how the water flows, what it does. And over here, we just have uh, the two machines we can show you on the outside. Comes in kind of two, two uh, yep. different looks here. Polished stainless steel yep. or a nice matte black. And we like the Rocket logo on the back of the machine there, yep. right? Yeah, they've it's done a nice the job. Raised. They're awesome with branding. Nice raised rocket there. So black on that one, then chrome on the black. Same sort of idea. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, so like in this one, you just have to get that a special rock or a <laughs> the special the rocket mirror, mirror, you know, so you can see the back. <laughs> yeah. um, but one of the key things also about this machine that separates it from the R58, it's a pressure profiling. Mm -hmm. And you control this through an app on your phone, or, in, or you can control it through... Let me pull up the app real quick. Oh, I'm showing people your password there. Yeah. <laughs> There's the okay. app. So either the, the little control panel here, which is nice if you're familiar with the R58. It's now kind of mounted onto the machine. Yep. Yeah, with the R58, oh, we you set it on the counter. Yeah. yeah, you can pull it off. Like that. Yep. yep. Or you can put it on. You push it on pretty hard, it'll click in place. And then and you can also tilt it around. Yeah. It stays there, tilt it up. And this also pulls right off. Beautiful. Okay. Notice and on this, rocket. it's it's three different pressure profiles. You get three presets from the factory. You can change those around with mm -hmm. five different uh, levels of pressure within those. Correct. That you can program any yep. way you want. Okay. Yep. We'll get into, we have more videos for that. But yeah. We're just going to kind of blast through the accessories oh, yeah. here. Accessories. Make it quick. Single and double shot porta filters and filter baskets. Mm -hmm. Nice thick. Very nice. Actually. Yeah. Decent quality, a real nice quality tamper to come with it, so you don't have to go out and buy one right away. An extra extra tip. Yeah, with slightly smaller holes. Both t comes with two, okay. two hole tips, and one's got slightly smaller. Okay. Right? And you got your braided uh, water line. Water, water line, plummet, back drain line. disc, drain line, and a coffee scoop. Okay. How exciting. <laughs> okay, but here's the, here's the fun part. Yeah. Here's the inside of the machine, and this is a... This is a stuff that I like. like. Yeah. So, we're going to go through the water flow, the path of the water flow, and mm -hmm. from that we'll come across different things that we want to talk about. Okay, the water can come in two ways, either through the reservoir, which sits onto here, mm -hmm. and when that, after that comes through the rubber tube, through the solenoid valve here, then to the pump. If you use the water line, which hooks onto here, mm -hmm. this solenoid valve will open, and you, obviously you program the machine to do that, which is very simple to do. Then this will close, and the water will come through this solenoid valve over to the pump. And the pump's back. Yep. There she goes. Yep. Now, it has your standard RPM motor that you find in many um, prosumer or commercial espresso machines. You have your pump here. The rotary so, pump. Yeah, rotary mm -hmm. pump. And uh, so your water comes in there, comes out the other side of the pump, through this copper tube, over to a T. From that, the water can choose one of two paths. If it goes this direction, through this cylinder, solenoid valve here, goes up to the top of the steam boiler and fills the boiler. Mm -hmm. Here's your uh, water level probe. When the water gets low, it senses it. it senses Let's the uh, control board know, turns the pump on, opens the solenoid valve, water fills. Mm -hmm. Am I going too fast? No, no. Okay. There's a lot to go. So I'm, I'm, this is geeky stuff, though. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but it is cool. So the other path of water flow to the brewing section of the machine comes through this copper tube, over through this stepper valve. This is what controls your, your, um, your pressure profiling. So a little motor in there is... is Kind of like a variable solenoid valve, sort of, maybe, in yeah, a way, right? multiple steps, and it moves. Yeah. But we'll get into this in a minute. Yep. I just want to stay with the water flow here. Mm -hmm. From there, it goes to this T, then it goes two directions. If it goes this direction, basically just goes down to your transducer, which, could, which senses the pressure here, sends the information back to the control board, so it can uh, vary the brew pressure. Or it goes to this damper here, which mm -hmm. hooks up to your pressure, brew pressure gauge on the front of the machine. When the stepper valve is controlling the brew pressure, it does move uh, mm -hmm. pretty fast, and you get a slight vibration in the gauge, so this dampens down the vibration. That's all this does. You just don't see the gauge mm -hmm. kind of yeah. wiggling like that, as like Sometimes that. it's yeah. changing pressure. Right. Uh, the other path is, goes up here, follows through there, up there, over to your brew boiler. Okay? This here is your OPV, which on vibration pump machines, this is used to control the brew pressure. This is now just a safety. Mm -hmm. That's all it does. They've added this valve on, which I was kind of, it's kind of fun to find this one here when we were looking. Mm -hmm. This is normally open to the atmosphere, basically, through this rubber tubes out to the little drain plug in the front. What this does, this relieves the pressure through this line here. 
so that there's no pressure on the transducer mm -hmm. until the machine is turned on and the pressure builds up. So turn the machine on, the solenoid valve closes, the pressure will build up normally, mm -hmm. turn off the, lower the lever so the brew stops, and this opens up. And relieves all the relieves pressure. Relieves all the pressure. That's so your up. pressure gauge on the front of your machine, your brew pressure gauge will show zero. Right. When a lot of machines, you'll notice it'll, when it heats up, the pressure gauge will go up as the boiler heats. Not so with this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see some more goodies. Got some brains over here. Okay, here's your brew boiler. Uh, now the design is the same as the R58 for the boilers, but what they've done is they've actually, those are still copper. Mm -hmm. They've made these stainless steel. So it's, difference from the R58, stainless boilers on the 60. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. 1.8 liters on the steam and 0.58 on, on the, the brew. brew. Yep. And let's see, over here, you have your control board and you have your two static relays. These, when these lights on, it shows the sending power of the boiler. Mm -hmm. You see this, this boiler uh, doesn't need heat right now and they're both sitting pretty good, stable. Mm -hmm. Yep, there it goes. There. Power, yep. And as PID, it's just a little hit of power and kind of figures that out. And Correct. And like we said, this is app controllable, so it's a, there's a little Wi-Fi, the white, uh, yeah. right there's your there. Wi-Fi spot. So this makes a direct connection to your smartphone over Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you get done to your, turn on your Wi-Fi and you'll see it. Say Rocket Espresso, you have the app, which yeah. I was even able to download and do it, so yeah. it can't be too tough. <laughs> yep, uh, let's see. Kind of go up front here. Yep. Uh, valves, well, they're angled on this it's compared yeah. to the Rocket R58, which are straight. Give you a little more room over the edge. Yeah. Yep, nice controlled valve. Mm -hmm. um, they've, oops, they got sp <laughs> springs in here that hold the valve closed, so you're not like, when you turn this, you're not cranking the valve seat down. Uh -huh. They're relatively easy to work on, they're not too bad. And anti-burn wands, they're, they're mm -hmm. lined, both yep. of them. Now on this machine here, you've got the, it's lit up here. Mm -hmm. oh, right That's there. a little added fun thing they put on and that there's a green light there that goes on when you're done with your your pressure profile when you're done with your brew when you've gone through your whole pressure profiling brewing it'll flash right it'll flash yeah and then also you have a unique individual number on each machine yeah, right so over here. 1633 on this yep, and that's the only one that'll have those numbers on it yeah and the stainless steel right yeah it's a little different right the uh, so whole stainless steel chassis mm-hmm so it's a little different from the R58, and also the taller... Oh, the taller or, legs. Yeah, taller, a uh, little redesign on the legs. A little fancier, a little... Yeah. Are they actually taller? Well, I don't know. They, they're a little, they're a little, a little different like design. design. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Let's see. So, what do we say, do you have 1,400 watts? Yes, 1,400 watts in both boilers. Uh-huh. So, a quick peek here. Let's see what kind of amps they draw so you can tell. Just letting out some steam to yep. kick on that boiler, so. Drawing about uh, 10, 11 amps. Okay. So you, you can't operate both boilers at a time or you'd be tripping your breakers. Right. So that's why it's designed the way it is. It shares power back and forth between them. Actually, it heat, heats up pretty quick. We had both boilers up to temperature in about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. but we found that you probably want to wait at least 30 minutes to get your brew pressure or your brew temperature up to where get you want Get everything up to Everything up to stable time. and so you're feeling good about it. Now that little stepper motor that controls the pressure oh, profiling. Yeah. So, yeah, in this here, okay. well, I'll insert a little piece of video here that we saw that you can actually, if you look super close while it's going, that piece there, that'll move up and down. Yeah. So what this, what this will do? I mean, this is not a user service level item either. Just so you know. Right. Um, if this will move up and down to vary a valve in here to control the pressure. Mm -hmm. Now, if it just went all the way to one setting for nine bar, eventually it will start to build up more, so it's going to have to change, go up and down just to hold that pressure. Right. So you can actually see this thing vibrate and move right. as it changes the pressure. So pretty, now in, pretty cool design. In pressure profiling machines, so there's this way of doing it, and then there's also like the geared pumps. Yeah, which they use in their commercial machines. Right. Is the, a gear pump, which goes by the speed of the pump, what the actual pressure is. Now, now on a machine like this, and lots of valves and that, you're going to want to feed it really, really... <laughs> You're good gonna, water, right? Yes, you will. <laughs> you will. Actually, we highly recommend you get a good filter. I really, yeah. really highly recommend. Because if you get minerals inside these machines and they start to build up any of these little valve seats or in this stepper valve mm -hmm. or even up in the transducer anywhere, it's going to be a nightmare. 
Right. You've got a lot of service work to do then. Right. Um, so, but so, pretty, very easy to protect your investment with yeah, some yeah. water filtration. If you're hooking up to a water line, we highly recommend the BWT Best Max S. Mm -hmm. And it hooks up really easy. Yeah. This, this line goes to your opening in your machine. Mm -hmm. And this comes with an adapter that goes to the 3 8 BSP. And that'll screw right onto there. And you're good to go with that. Yep. And, and then I'll, there's a little plumb kit that you can buy for this side. Hooks up to any Ameri or hooks up to the American uh, waterline systems. You just take mm -hmm. that to Home Depot or your local hardware store, and they'll set you up with the right fittings to easily right. hook this up. This is a good quality one. Watch the video on this one. Learn about that one. That really just protects your investment. And in theory, using that, you will not need to descale exactly. with the proper water filtration. Yeah. So, so it takes that whole you maintenance. Be, you won't be sending it in for service. Right. Very nice. At least for that. Um, we did talk, we mentioned stainless boilers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think we covered everything. Yeah. And we breezed through pretty quick. But, uh... And we, we will do other videos where we're going to, you know, test some of the pressure profiling, show you how the app works, yeah. and uh, really, you know, go more in depth into actual use and operation and the steaming quality and that kind of stuff. Yeah, we'll do some frothing and everything, different steam tips, and we'll have some more fun with it. But that's just ready to show you the inside so you can understand what it's all about. All right, thanks. Okay, that'll hold a lot of hey, love. Mark, thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelottelove.com. Oh,